The science is fascinating. The science drives this. The science, I should have dollar signs on my eyeballs from the science. It has to be told in such a way that I can see the dollar signs if that's what drives me. It should be fascinating. And it can be fascinating. But it is not told with the characteristics that we're talking about. And part of that is by now, you, you, you know this, that we've become to, begun to be reluctant to talk about the science. And I would argue that we are reluctant to talk about the science because the listeners are reluctant to listen to the, about the science poorly told. So it can, the, you know, the whole thing rises up. And it is better. There's no question. They don't want to hear about it. They know more about the money than you do. They know they know more about the money than you do. But they don't get what they need from, I'm sorry, not you, <laughs> from, your, from the sciences side's expertise. They get stuff they don't need and not what they do need. It's extremely frustrating to any listener. And, and so you'll hear, how many times have you heard somebody in the audience interrupt a speaker and say, bottom line, or cut to the chase? They're, they can't, it's not listener friendly. It doesn't mean the science, it's, not, it's actually no reflection on the science at all. It's a reflection on the presentation. It is not following the principles that we're talking about. It's probably dwelling on background would be my guess. Or dwelling on information or dwelling on explanation. The argument, if, if we went to the venture capitalists, I'm, I'm now imagining myself a scientist. How do I look? If we went to the venture capitalists and, and gave them the arguments they need, about the science, which is exactly our job, they would never leave. It would be, tell me more. 